ever since I was young They said I will be nothing Now they always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own fader style magazine. And in today's video, we're going to be going over Post Malone. I've been listening to his music a lot lately, and I thought that this would be the most appropriate. Um, just a little cool fact that me and him also had the same last name, if that's even his name. Um, Malone is my last name, and I thought that was pretty cool to throw in. So uh, really quickly, you guys are going to need a couple things. Um, Photoshop is obviously one of them. You guys are going to need also the font cool vectica i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it if not there's going to be a link in the description anyway access to the internet so you can download the fader logo and then also a nice wallpaper to use um it doesn't really matter what artist you use however i thought post mode would be obviously the most appropriate so we're going to be working around a lot of different examples on a lot of different things and it's a lot more than just placing a logo on top of a background and then making something pop out and i want people to kind of put their heads through that that it's not just simply putting something on top of something that you need to understand on how to place things and where to put it so really quickly i do want to state if you're going to be putting this onto mock-ups let's just say you're going to go up to like mock-up world and let's just say you want to put it on like a magazine or something like that or um just like something that you want to just place it for and you when you download these you're going to have to realize that these sizes are going to be different from the ones we're going to be working with so of course definitely download those first and then find the size that the wallpaper is and then work from there if you're going to be working from the size that i make half the time it won't fit on these front covers or on the back covers or wherever you want to put it but if you just want to make it and then throw it in your portfolio for old time's sake then this is definitely a video you want to watch so going straight into it you do want to make a new document and you can leave the resolution at 72 unless you're actually going to be printing these just put the width to about a thousand and put the height to 1222 and it sounds like a really weird number but when you click ok it's going to create that kind of perfect rectangle box that you want to put your image in front of and then all you have to do now is head over to google and then type in whoever you want to put into it, whether it be Post Malone, Kendrick Lamar, um, any type of rapper. For Fader Magazines, I'll just look them up. For Fader Magazines, they're mostly based around um, hip hop music and like rappers and stuff like that. So of course, you know, you do want to stay a part of this and don't go too crazy. If you want to add like business people, I would stick to Forbes, but we can cover that in another tutorial because it's a lot more, you know, intricate and a lot more detailing. So, for this, I'm just going to be using Post Malone, and you can look at these for references. You guys can leave that up and then just go over here. And that's typing like Post Malone. Um, I wouldn't put wallpaper at the end of it just because you're going to find more of like detailing in the background. Just put the name of the wrapper or the person you're going to be using and put it to four megapixels. And then you can look around to basically find whatever image you want to use. Mine is right here. This is from his like new photo shoot. You know, you can use something like this, but try to keep the background more of a solid color. So whether that be like that kind of gray color, these hues won't really work um you know that orange color would work and stuff like that so just click view image and then you can copy it or you can right click and save and just paste it in and then sometimes it's going to be a little bit too large so you know you just have to size it down just a little bit and don't size it so it's perfect but make it so it has kind of like a nice look to it so i want to have you know a little gap between his head and the top so i can have that fader text coming through but also enough room that I have to put my text. So I do want to add some color corrections to this image that it's a very nice image. It's well taken. I'm pretty sure the photographer, whoever did this, I'm sure added his own effects. But I just want to add a little bit of exposure and a little bit of saturation. So I'm going to take that gamma correction. I'm going to bring it to the right. So it brings out those kind of darker darks and those lighter lights. And then you can take the exposure and bring it to the right just a little bit. So it brings out more of the lighting in his um, left side of his face or his right side and then his eyes. You can also go over here to the adjustment layers, click on saturation and then bring the saturation just up a little bit to kind of raise that skin tone. And if you don't like it, you can click these little eye arrows and they go away. But we're going to leave them for this video. So 
the first thing you do want to do is add that fader logo so i would have head over to google and type in fader logo png um you can grab literally any single one of these because a lot of these don't actually have the background taken out so you just click view image right click copy image and then paste it in and you want to size it right away so i would just size it maybe like this and then you want to hold control just click right here in this little box in the layer section go to select color range and then click the white right here and then click ok and just hit control x and that's basically taking away that white and then all you want to do is basically click right here and just even out that r just because you don't want a sloppy looking r and it doesn't have to be the same color as the logo because we're going to add a color overlay but you can if you want and then i'm just going to clean up the bottom i'm going to make sure everything's the same height same height so just take your little selection tool and cut the bottom and top and then you can if you want maybe cut that a little bit more just like this merge these two and hit control x so you can take this you can make sure that r touches the end of it and the f touches the end of that side and then bring it to the top so that top of the f box does touch the top of the image and then you can go to right click blending options and go to color overlay and just make the color white you can color or copy the color of a shirt if you want that won't look too bad but grab like the whitest part of it if possible and then now that you have that all you want to do is put that above the image that you're using and lower the opacity and then click right here on your image and you're going to want to zoom in and this is when you're going to want to pen tool things and we're going to be going over a new tool that i haven't gone over in a tutorial before i like to call it the band-aid tool it's basically going to help you get rid of some of the blocky areas you know where the hair is and stuff like that so you just want to kind of cut around all the parts that have the hair and you don't have to be 100 percent clean but it always helps to kind of keep everything in a neat way so you can rush you can take your time it doesn't really matter if you're going to be putting this in your portfolio i do recommend taking a lot more time in this just because it's a lot easier to do things so there we go we got the whole head done and you don't have to go around the whole entire head you just have to go around the parts that show his forehead and his top of his hair piece going above the text and those pen tools right click and make a selection and then just duplicate it from that bottom layer and put it above so now that you have that you can raise the opacity of that logo and then you can zoom in and you're gonna click this right here it's gonna look like a band-aid it's gonna be called the spot healing tool or the healing brush and leave the size on like about I wouldn't say I would say don't go above three and I'm just gonna you know kind of go around here and then take my eraser put like a size four and just erase around his hair and the reason why we left those spots open is because it really helps like get into little details then you can grab that healing brush and just try to smoothen everything out and of course you can take that brush again and go back in and cut things you guys can zoom out but uh you do want to do this for the whole entire top of the head so really you want to worry about getting rid of that blue and then blending those edges in if they do have little pieces of hair a lot of artists do like to go with the pen tool around each individual hair piece just because it's a lot easier and it looks a lot cleaner but that band-aid tool is really used for spots like this where the hair only comes up a little bit and you can just take that band-aid tool and literally take away the whole entire piece so it's pretty cool i do recommend using it a lot so now that we have that there's going to be a little bit that we need to work with with the exposure we used and if you guys can't tell something got exposed a little bit too much so this is really really white and you can't put white text on white like this so just take your eraser and just erase that little corner and then we can go back over to the four or the fader magazine excuse me and you're going to realize that sometimes you have the little names in the bottom so we're going to be just put post malone or whatever artist you're using and for the font i'm using cool vetica and definitely a font that everyone should download it's a really amazing font and make it pretty small and bring it over the bottom make sure it's centered 
and then you can size it wherever you'd like after that but this is where i'm going to use it you can double stack it so if you guys don't know what double stacking is it's when you stack the text on top of each other like this but then you're gonna have to have to center it make sure it's zero and then it's just a lot to worry about so i don't really like double stacking my text anymore i used to do it on some of my magazine covers i did but it's really a hassle after a while so we're just gonna leave this the same and center it and if you guys can't have these little lines come down in your photoshop all you have to do is double click that background and hit Control t on it and drag these rulers so you guys have like a perfect center and then you can grab your post malone text and then you can see that this is centered in the middle so now that we have that um you guys can start adding a little effects so i'm gonna make a new layer above this hue and saturation and exposure of a brush on about a size let's say 1400 and this is going to be a saw one little tap over here and lower the opacity just to kind of create a light source so you have this going on and then you, of course you can keep going back for further um instructions on what you want to do the one thing i'm also going to add is this little text right here so all you have to do is zoom in and you're going to want to make a new layer a box under your other box because you're going to want to size this perfectly and then put a ruler right there sometimes they don't go but you can hit Control h and it'll pop up and let's get rid of this and then you're going to want to make a copy number of what you know number copy this is or what number installment i'm just going to put 60 i thought that 60 was just a good number to use and let's put the size up to about like a 75 to 80 and we of course can go back and then change it spacing you want to make a gap pretty decent from top to bottom and then you want to make another text of course this text is going to be smaller and this is going to be what month that you want this um installment to be so i'm going to put jan slash feb 17 so this gonna be january and february's installment of 2017 and this is going to be closer to the 60 than this would be to the top and then you can make a new layer and then drag this down and then you can put the fader.com which is going to be the website and then you can change these sizes i'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it's not clashing on top of that white as much so i can zoom out and i can see that everything is looking pretty decent i do like this a lot because it looks really clean you can see in my other example it's the same thing i just had this wallpaper just down a little bit more and now that we have that, we can go back to the hue and saturation and drag the saturation more up. But once you do that, the skin color gets changed a lot. So what you wanna do, if you wanna make the background more blue, you can make another hue and saturation and then drag this up more. So it's more of like a pure blue. And then take your eraser and erase the face and the body. So it's kind of like a little tip for people that are doing photo editing and stuff like that. So you can have a more of a blue background and if you guys don't like that little white spot coming out of course you can just change it by clicking right here grabbing that band-aid tool and it goes away just like that so now that we have that it's really up to you what you want to do with this you guys can just save it and be done and then go from there but we can go to google or we can go to mock-up world and we can type in like poster mock-ups or whatever you'd like to use. And this is when I said that you wanna size things to and how you wanna use it. So you can go to free poster mockups and basically find like one to use. It can be one in a frame, it can be one just chilling. I'm just gonna use a frame for it's just a video. So all you have to do is download these and these are just really you know nice things to do. So just click download. It'll download into your browser, open up the mockup so you can use a horizontal or vertical of course we'd use the vertical since that's going to follow our poster edit the contents and then just drag our magazine that we made in and you're going to have to do some editing to it but once we have it in here we're going to have basically full range of motion so luckily enough i can size this so i can have my text basically perfect and bring that up just like this so the text might be a little bit different but you can roll with it and then you can take that image you can bring the image down a little bit actually if you really want to 
and then just make sure that you're make sure you're, excuse me make sure that you're sizing everything correctly i can't move my image down because that's where mine cuts so we're gonna have this grab that post malone text drag it to the bottom and then there's gonna be some wrinkled stuff that you can change on um, the hue and saturation you're gonna have to mess around with same thing with your exposure that you raised you're gonna have to keep adding and pushing these around places because you're gonna, once you cut it once, you're basically gonna have to resize it. So hitting Control T on those would really fix everything. And then you can click File, Save, and then go to here, and then you have your own um, Fader Magazine mockup. So that's really easy to do, and I really thought you guys would enjoy this, and I thought that you guys would really enjoy the intro as well. So if you guys did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and a comment below. If you guys do like this effort I'm putting into my videos, um, let me know, of course, in the comment section and subscribe. Other than that, guys, really nothing else to say. Just make sure to keep watching my videos, and that's it. Peace out.